for your first sleep, how important was that win on Tuesday night? Yeah, it was a massive win. Obviously, Lincoln did well last season. Um, I thought the lads put in a really good performance. The gaff was really happy with how we played. Uh, from the start to finish, we all put in a good shift. Um, I thought we outbattled them all over the pitch, and that's what kind of drove us to the win. Uh, two really good finishes, core again scoring, leading the line really well, getting us important goals. Um, but yeah, really, really good performance. I mean, a lot of good performances recently. What, what do you think pleased you most about Tuesday night? I mean, defensively, I suppose it's a clean sheet, isn't it? Yeah. But again, there was lots more. Yeah, loads. Every, everything like that we do on the training pitch with the gaffer, by the pressing, how we set up in our shape, um, everyone buys into it and everyone puts in 100%. Because obviously, if someone doesn't, then the whole thing just doesn't work. So, um, yeah, we all put in a good shift, and I think that's what drove us to the three points on Tuesday. And what about yourself coming back into the side? Obviously, Shane suspended. How do you think it went for you? Yeah, well, I thought I had a good game, yeah. Um, Man of the match, I hear. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just got to, obviously, obviously, there's a lot of competition in the team, so I've just got to take my chances when I'm called upon. Um, but yeah, yeah, I was pleased with my performance. Yeah, what's it like with so much competition? Because particularly where you play, there is a lot, isn't there, here? Yeah, I think obviously it benefits the team, because obviously if you're a bit slack and um, don't perform at your highest level, then the manager's got decisions to make. And obviously there's a lot of competition and a lot of players to choose from, so when you go onto the pitch, you've got to make sure that you're on top of your game to make sure you stay there. Now, Wickham away, they're doing really well. It's, yeah. it's a tough task, isn't it? Yeah, obviously they're a good team. I think came on from the Championship last season, doing well this season. But we'll go there with uh, nothing to lose. We'll keep playing how we play and we'll hopefully create an upset. But yeah, we believe we can. The last away result, that great win at Crewe, but before that, Poor results at Doncaster and at Gillingham, but the manager was saying the performances were quite good. But but what you want to replicate is is that winning feeling from crew. Yeah, definitely. That's all we do. We just go out to play and win. That's all we're bothered about getting the getting the results. Obviously, getting the performance to, to match results is nice, and that's what we want. But yeah, slight disappointing losing games against Doncaster and uh, teams like that because we should be winning than we feel as a team. And looking at the league table, if we did win these sort of games, we'd be we'd be right up there. But we've just got to keep focusing on the games ahead and we can't, can't slack off. We've just got to keep, keep that momentum going. Yeah, I know, as if some bots, isn't it? But you do yeah. look at those two yeah. results in particular and you think, wow, a couple more points there. And even, even the Accrington game, if that had been yeah. a win and there hadn't been the sending off, it's so tight, you could be right out there. Exactly. We, we don't, obviously, I think we're favourites to go down. But as a team that we've got, we're going to just keep pushing and pushing. Like you said, looking at the table, if we picked up if some bots, we picked points up here and there, we'd be, we'd be right up there. Um, but now we, we, as a team, we don't dwell on that. We just got to just keep going, and we'll go Saturday. We'll just go for the three points again. So it's a matter of looking up the table, really, is it? Because on promotion, like you say, everyone's saying, "Oh, Morecambe will go down again to League Two. But already you're thinking, "No, hang on, we can cope with this." No, definitely. As, as a team, we we don't look down. We're just looking forward, beating teams like Lincoln. They got the playoffs last season. Just shows like how good we, how good we are. Um, but that's why we've got to get that consistency now because we've had a few wins and then a draw and a loss. We just want to make sure that we get them consistent wins because if we do, I think it'll put us right up there. I've got to mention Cole Stockton, the leading scorer in Europe. What's it like to play behind? It's good to watch. You know, I mean, they give him the ball on Tuesday and he just goes and smashes it from 25 yards. So you can't ask him all, really. Obviously, he's a massive part of our team, scoring all our goals. Um, as a team, obviously, we want to help and other players want to help and score goals, but he's doing a fantastic job and he's, yeah, he's a massive part of the team. But I've talked before about the fact that having a goal scorer in the team really helps, doesn't it? Someone who's on fire. Yeah, he leads, leads the line brilliantly, he's strong, he helps us hold the ball up when we're a bit under pressure and obviously he chips in with goals every single game just about, so it just relieves that pressure as well. Um, we just look When we're looking for a goal, we look to him and he, and he provides a good, so... And is he unbearable around the camp? <laughs> no, he's, no, he's spot on. All good. You don't hear a beat from him. He just gets his head down, scores the goals, wins us the game. So can't ask for much more, to be fair.